Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie and today is all about my mini art supply haul from Sam Flax Atlanta. Um, I am very excited about this. Um, I have some fun products that I want to share with you and tell you a little bit about Sam Flax. Alright, Sam Flax is an art supply store at 145 North Side Drive, Atlanta, Georgia, 30318. Um, it is They've been in different places in Atlanta. This one, they've been there for three years, and I absolutely love this shop. They're having a great holiday sale. This is not paid for. This is not an ad. I just absolutely fell in love with this shop when I walked in. Um, I haven't been since they've been at this location. One, because... You know, we've been two years of not really doing anything other than then they had moved from where I was used to going to them. But yeah, they, um, I absolutely love this new shop. So I went looking for a sketchbook and some acrylic gouache and I've already painted the tops. Um, in my previous video, you'll understand why I do that. Um, so I ended up picking up Juan Brilliant. Prussian blue and wine red and I absolutely love this look at those um this actually is a little bit darker I didn't I watered it down a little too much when I was painting that one but with my other color palette with my color palette these work great these just fit perfectly maybe not in the container but the colors fit great with um the palette of colors I already have so I'm really excited about the Prussian blue wine red and wine brilliant I did figure out I can do I can get a really pretty peach color um, and with this and adding a little white so yeah it's gonna be fun um, I picked up this pen and ink sketchbook it was on it was actually in one of their clearance rooms and it's got super smooth paper and I'm really excited to try this one out it um, it is 96 pages and it's five and a half by three and a half and it's just um, a smooth surface 145 GSM pen and ink sketchbook and since I've been doing that for my 100 day project I figured this would be a great one to try out it's got a little pocket in the back um, it is um, by art alternatives and yeah so I actually only paid like five bucks for this so I was really super excited because I wanted a little sketchbook to throw in my pocket for, you know, I'm not, probably won't take a pen with me when I do it. I'll use a pencil and then, you know, or I'll, I'll carry a pencil and eraser and a pen. Um, picked up this little, um, pencil sharpener because you can close it. Um, you can twist it to open it and it, the shavings won't come out. Okay, one of the other things I bought were these gelatos. I have passion fruit, pistachio, and metallic icing, as well as black licorice. These I've had before in a different, when they were differently packaged, and they were also supposedly reformulated, reform, at least that's what I thought I heard. And so they are water soluble, like crayons. Um, I guess I should have opened one of these up before I started filming. They are water soluble, like twist up, you know, think lip gloss for your art. And so they're not as controllable as like a water, a water soluble crayon, but they're really fun. You can actually um, like scrub them onto your palette and then use a paintbrush and use them as well. Um, and then when you check out, they gave me this local art store sticker. I love my local art store. I really thought it was cute. I'm going to put it on my sketchbook. Because that's one thing about Sam Flax. It's independently owned and operated. And, you know, local art supply stores are, you know, hard to find sometimes. And they seem to be going away. So, always support somebody local if you can. Um, I mean, they're not really local to me, but they're in the same state. I have to drive to go anywhere, so... It's about an hour and 20 minutes for me to get there, but I normally, when I go to Atlanta, 
I do multiple things. I don't just go to the art supply store, even though there are three. Um, in probably a five mile radius up there. And so I'm pretty much thinking that Sam Flax will be my choice from now on. And so I hope you enjoyed this little mini art haul. Not much, but fun in the least. It's not, I mean, not in the least, but whatever. Not much, but fun anyway. So I really am looking forward to using these supplies and I'll show you what I do in another video. See you soon. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and hit subscribe if you want to be notified of any new videos that I make. Um, I try to post a video a week. Sometimes I post two. And it just depends on my schedule. And I will see you soon.